it's Jennifer from Fiber Flux. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make the Super Mom, Super Dad Coffee Cozy. This is a simple to make coffee cozy, and I've added a fun cape for your favorite mom or dad superhero so they can kind of carry their coffee with a superhero cape. So there are two versions of this pattern. This one is a simple striped where we did one round of each color and just alternated in like superhero colors. Um, I've also put the cape on the back of there. The other version is more of like a color block, like where I did a band and then another band of color and then a band of color to kind of frame it in. And this is just a patch I found at the craft store that I've attached to the front. Um, and then I've also made the cape a little bit longer. So you can really make sort of like a short cape or have the cape come all the way down to the bottom of the cozy. We're going to be making this one together and that will show you how to change colors. So you'll know how to do either one. You can change colors in any manner you like, either every other round or more of a color block like this one. So, um, and then also the cape itself, see how this one is a little bit shorter. The cape itself is customizable as well. This is worked in one piece. So once you depart from the last round of the coffee cozy, you can start right onto the cape portion of the project. So let's get started. For this project, you'll need a 5.5 millimeter eye crochet hook. You'll need a tapestry needle, a pair of scissors, a hot glue gun if you're gluing your patch on. You'll need your patch. Now about the hot glue gun, I my patch here is uh, like a rubbery material. Uh, if Some of them you may want to uh, sew them on. Uh, we're going to be using worsted weight acrylic yarn, so you're not going to want to iron your patch on. So just as a side note, it will melt the yarn, okay? So I'm going to be hot gluing my patch right onto my coffee cozy. And, uh, but if you choose to sew yours, you may. I just think that the, the rubbery material is a little bit difficult to get a needle through. But if you find some that are like the fabric-y, embroidered-looking patches, uh, feel free to sew that on as well. But I'm going to be using a hot glue gun and then my yarn. So I chose two kind of superhero colors. This is Red Heart Super Saver in blue, like a very classic blue color. And then I'm also using Red Heart Super Saver in the cherry red. So we're gonna be doing kind of like a two-tone color block coffee cozy. Now, if you wanna do a different patch that's a different theme, for example, Batman, you might wanna change up the colors a little bit, maybe do like black and yellow or something like that. If you wanna go in a totally different direction, just try and coordinate the colors with your patch. Okay, using our superhero colors, we're gonna start with the red because we're gonna do a stripe on the bottom of red, a center panel of blue, and then a stripe along the top to kind of frame in our little patch over here. So depending on what you wanna do, you could do it all in one color, you could do lots of stripes. It's completely up to you how you wanna work the colors, but I'll show you how to switch colors in just a few minutes. That way you'll know, so when you're ready to switch colors, you can do the same thing. So I'm gonna begin with the red, and what we're gonna do is put a slip knot on our hook. Wrap the yarn around your fingers to make a loop. Bring the yarn behind that loop, reach in with your hook, bring up a loop, and tighten. Next, we're gonna chain 28. So to make a chain, wrap yarn around hook and bring it through the loop. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, whoops, just drop that one. 25, 26, 27, and 28. So next we're gonna head back down here to the first chain that we made, the chain farthest from our hook, and we're gonna join with a slip stitch to create a large ring, which will be the opening of the coffee cozy. So insert your hook into that farthest chain from the hook, wrap yarn around hook, and bring it through the loop. You'll have two loops on your hook. Now bring that loop through the loop that's already on your hook, okay? We now have the ring that we'll be working our stitches into. You'll also notice there's a tail here. We're gonna hold that along the edge as we work this first round and that will weave in the ends as we go along, okay? So beginning round one, we're going to chain two. One and two 
And then we're going to work a half double crochet in each chain all the way around. So to make a half double crochet, wrap yarn around hook, insert it into the first chain, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops on your hook. That's the half double crochet. This will give you a little bit more height than a single crochet, but it will um, be also nice and dense, okay? It won't be too holy or anything like that. All right, so we're gonna work half double crochets in each chain all the way around. Again, we're holding that tail along the edge as we work, weaving that in as we go. That always saves uh, a little bit of time here and there, and it is a little bit fiddly when you're trying to hold the tail and crochet, but it will save you a step later on, and it looks nice and neat. Okay, so just work your half double crochets in each chain all the way around, just like that. And after a while, you can drop the tail that you're weaving in if you feel like it's been woven in sufficiently, okay? So, wrap yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops. Yarn around hook, bring it through all three loops, okay? Now I'm gonna go ahead and drop my tail because I feel like it's been plenty woven in. So I can just continue with my half double crochets all the way around. If you wanna see the half double crochet a little more slowly, just back up the video a little bit until you feel like you've mastered that stitch. And I also have a uh, separate video on that stitch too if you wanted to, if you're not familiar with the stitch, you can work a little bit, make a little swatch before you begin, okay? So I'm going to continue working my half double crochets in each chain all the way around and then we'll rejoin in just a moment. Okay, I'm just working that last half double crochet in that very last chain. And then what we're going to do is count two chains up, one, two, and join with a slip stitch to close the round. And round one is complete. So we have a little band of red right now. So what I'm going to do next is we're going to stick with the red for now. We're going to switch over to the blue uh, after this round, but um, we're going to stick with the red and work round two, and then I'll show you how to switch colors. So round two is essentially identical to round one, except for in the uh, in round two, we're going to be working into the stitches and not the chains. So that's the only difference. So what we're going to do once again is chain two, one, two, and then we're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch, okay? So this little tiny loop at the top of each of your half double crochets from the previous round, just work a half double crochet in each stitch. Okay, we're just working that all the way around. So this will be a little uh, frame, if you will, that will frame in that patch and make it really stand out in these really fun and bright superhero colors. These are like classic superhero colors. Okay, so we're just continuing all the way around with our half double crochet stitches. And you'll find once you learn the half double crochet, or if you're already a half double crochet master, this project is super fast and it would be fun to give someone a fabulous cup of coffee or tea on Mother's Day or Father's Day. So many tired moms and dads are big fans of coffee and tea uh, with a surprise cozy on it. So, you know, you can really use your imagination. And I wanted to also mention that the patch that I'm using. You don't necessarily have to make this a superhero theme patch. There are tons and tons of patches at the craft store and even like some letter patches. You could do like a monogrammed coffee cozy. You could do something uh, with a like a cup of coffee on there. Um, something f like fun and or funny like an emoji, a funny emoji. Um, and just present it on Mother's Day or Father's Day, or really for no reason at all. It could even be for a special super grandparent as well. Okay, so I'm just coming around and I worked that last stitch. So once again, we're gonna count two chains up, join with a slip stitch to close the round. So round two is complete. So you'll have this little band of red. So grab your scissors and we're gonna cut the red yarn 
and fasten off. Now, if you have a preferred method of joining yarn that you'd rather do, feel free to do that. I like to simply just cut the yarn and tie the new piece on. So I'm gonna grab my blue. Now we're gonna be repeating round two over and over and over again until we get to the top of our coffee cozy. Um, so we're gonna be doing the same thing in this round, but I'm just gonna show you how to switch colors. So that stitch that we just worked, insert your hook, hook back into that stitch, hook the new color on there and pull it through. Just like that. And now take your yarn and just tie it right on. Again, if you have a way that you like to join yarn that's different than this, definitely feel free to do that. This is your project and you're in charge. Okay, so what we're gonna do now that we have the new color tied on is insert your hook back into that same stitch, bring up a loop, and now we're ready to work the next round. Now, once again, we're gonna be repeating round two over and over and over again. So what we need to do is chain two, and then again, we're gonna just simply work half double crochets in each stitch all the way around until we get our uh, height that we need. So I'm gonna just give you a sneak preview here. We're gonna work two, to, if you wanna replicate what I'm doing. Now obviously, like I said before, you can do your striping any way you like. But if you wanna replicate mine, we're doing two rounds of red, five rounds of blue, and two more rounds of red. That will frame it in so when we put our patch on, it'll sit right in that blue. Now you might wanna experiment by placing your patch on there and, and playing around with it a little bit but I found that that was the best spacing for my particular patch. So please feel free to work your striping any way you like. And then I'm gonna show you how to do the next part. So uh, work those stripes, changing colors like we did before. And again, we're gonna do two stripes of red, which we've already done, five stripes of blue, and two more stripes of red just to frame it in. And then we're gonna move on to the next part. Okay, so I went ahead and worked two rounds of red, five rounds of blue, two more rounds of red, and now we're ready to move on to the next part. So join like you normally would to close that last round, and at this point you can either finish and be done with your cozy and add the patch and everything, but I am going to show you how to add a cape onto it. So when the coffee cozy is done, it'll have a little cape on it. Obviously, you can leave the cape off and be done at this time, but I'm gonna show you how to add the cape if you'd like to do that as well. Okay, so what you're gonna do is, let me just go back in here, and we're gonna chain two once again, one, two. Our cape will also be worked in half double crochet stitches, but we're going to be working in rows and not in rounds. So chain two and then work a half double crochet into the first stitch, the next stitch, and over 10 stitches total. Okay, so that was two, and then three, whoops, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over and start working in rows. So go ahead and chain two, one, two, and turn your work. Now work a half double crochet into the first stitch and in every stitch across until you get to the end, okay? So let's do this first row together. And we're just kind of departing from working in rounds and starting the beginnings of a cute little cape. Okay, so just work in every stitch basically until you run out of stitches. Okay, we're almost to the end here. 
And then in that topmost chain, remember we did a turning chain? In the topmost chain of the turning chain, just go ahead and also work a half double crochet into that as well. Whoops, there we go, okay? So row one of the cape is complete. Now what you're gonna do is just keep working your cape until it kind of cascades down the back of the coffee cozy. So let's get started on the next round just to show you. Chain two, and then you're going to work a half double crochet in each stitch across. Same thing we did before, okay? So repeat this over and over and over again until your cape, depending on how long you want it to be, you can work your cape till it's about the middle of the coffee cozy, or you can take it all the way down to the bottom. Okay, so just continue to repeat this row over and over until basically your cape is as long as you'd like it to be. If you want a more dramatic cape, make it a little bit longer. If you want it to be sort of like a shorter, it'll be a little bit like perkier, uh, you can make your cape a little bit shorter by working less rows. Okay, and then once again work in that turning chain. Okay, so I'm gonna keep repeating these rows and finish up my cape and then we will be ready to add to the front of it. Now, because we didn't fasten off and just worked right into the cape, that uh, area where we worked in the round and joined will be in the back part of the cozy. And then at the end, when we're done our cape, we're gonna add our patch onto our coffee cozy. So if you are using a hot glue gun, you might wanna fire up your hot glue gun, plug it in, get it ready. And then I'm gonna work a little bit more of my cape and then we'll rejoin in just a moment. Okay, so I'm just working that last half double crochet into my cape row here, and it looks very cute. So what you can do, I need mine go down to the bottom of my coffee cozy. Okay, now you can, again, you can make yours a little shorter if you want. And then I'm just gonna cut the yarn and fasten off. Now it's time to add our patch. But first, if you have a cup handy, it might be helpful to kind of uh, throw it on a cup a little bit and just see how everything looks. Make sure it fits. Now, as you can see, this covers a good deal of the cup, so it gives you lots of hand coverage. And you can see the little cape looks super cute, okay? So what we wanna do now is, um, well, actually, we can weave our ends in next. Okay, so grab your tapestry needle, and I went ahead and wove all of the other ones. Now this is going to be flipped back. So flip it to the other side, thread your tapestry needle, and go in one direction with your yarn. Now if you made your cape stripey, just try to stay in the same color so that your ends don't stick out. You can just have them blend. So we're gonna keep the red in the red area. Okay, and then you can just go in one direction, the other direction, and then go ahead and trim that little tail. And the coffee cozy is complete. So what we're gonna do is lay everything nice and flat. You want your cape to be perfectly in the back. Get it nice and flat on your surface and then grab your patch, whatever patch you're gonna do. Yep. Now I mentioned earlier in the video, if you have one that you can sew, feel free to sew it if you prefer. Absolutely, if you're using acrylic yarn, do not iron this patch on. What you will do is melt your yarn, okay? So hot glue it or sew it if possible. Okay, so what you wanna do is position it so it's centered, and then grab your hot glue gun, and you're gonna glue the patch. If you just start squirting glue, it'll make a big mess. Now, you'll want to strike a balance between um, enough to get it to stick, but not enough to where it's, I gotta fix my glue stick here, it's popping out. But not so much hot glue to where it's uh, squishing through the holes of your coffee cozy, okay? So just not too much and not a little. Not too little, not too much, rather. Okay, and then you can go ahead and place it on. Now hot glue adheres really, really well to knitted and crocheted surfaces because of all those fibers. It kind of is able to receive the glue really well. Okay, so make sure you can slip your hand in there. Make sure that your uh, glue hasn't oozed through the holes. And then if you have some edges, go ahead and 
grab your glue gun again and just tack those down a little bit just to get those edges nice and secure. Sometimes I don't go up to the edges and I have to sort of go back and touch up a little bit. And this patch happens to have a lot of points on it. So you wanna make sure all those points are laying nice and flat. Okay, so grab this patch here, bottom point there, and then make sure there's no glue tails that remain. Okay, so our coffee cozy is complete. It has a cute cape, which again is optional. Now let's try it on our cup. Slide that right on. And then you can gift someone this superhero cape. And it looks very cute with the symbol and the cape in the back. And this would make a fantastic gift to pair along with a gift card. So that is how you crochet the Super Mom, Super Dad Coffee Cozy. Thanks so much for watching and be sure and click the subscribe button to get all the latest Fiber Flux video updates. Thanks again. Yay!